Bring it down. Spin it around. Flip that car like you mean it. Come on! just going over the numbers again. Have we raised enough to make all the repairs to Camp Everfree? We've only raised half. I counted the money four times just to be sure. Aww. It's all right. We can just wash more cars. There's gotta be some we missed. I uh, think we're gonna have to come up with a new plan. But we're running out of time. The camp fundraising deadline is next week. And Pinkie Pie's already hosted a bake sale. Twilight and Fluttershy had that doggy daycare. And Sunset Shipper and I plan this car wash. Not to worry, darlings. It's my turn to devise a plan, and I already have something amazing in mind. It will be the most profitable of all of our fundraising events, the Piesta Resistance. Hey, you! Now we're talking. What's your idea? Meet me in the music room later this afternoon, and I will explain everything. Uh-huh. You got nothing, huh? How did you know? hours and still no ideas for a lucrative last-minute fundraiser. Usually window shopping inspires me. Are you a musician? Hmm? Do you and your friends love to dance? Yes. Are you unique, cool, and stylish? Yes, 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 and obviously. Do you want to win a cash prize? Yes! Then enter the Cantalot Mall Chance to Brands competition. All you need is a music video of your own original song and dance. Then you could be prancing your way to first prize. Sign up now at the booth near the Antwerp Smoothie Kiosk. Oh, we're certain to win! Rarity! What a nice surprise! Not. <gasps> Sour Sweet! Sunny Flare! Why, it's been ages! It's only been a few months since the Friendship Games. Is that all? Wow. <laughs> How is everything over at Crystal Prep Academy? Oh, things at CPA have never been better since Principal Cadence took over. Yeah, she's going to let us have the spring dance on a yacht if we raise the money. Ooh, sounds divine. Are you signing up for the Chance to Prance contest, too? I am. Are you girls here to sign up for the competition? We definitely aren't here because we like standing in lines. I assume you already have a video concept figured out. The competition's going to be pretty fierce. Yes. It came to me as soon as I saw that gorgeous red ruffled ensemble on the way over here. Oh, tell me more. Oh. Well, each member of the Rainbooms is going to dance in a different style, like flamenco, hip-hop, or street ballet, and will wear costumes to match each genre, designed by yours truly, of course. <laughs> that sounds like a very good concept. Yeah, I guess it's okay, if you're going for way too over the top. Thanks! So, what's your concept? Nothing. We don't have one yet. What she means is it's a surprise, but it's amazing. It's so original. Oh, well, I can't wait to see it. Good luck. You too. See? It's a wonderful plan. We'll write some lyrics for our new song, and we'll choreograph some dance moves. Then our video will win the cash prize, and voila! You make it sound simple as pie. That's because it is. 
The girls at Crystal Prep even agree. They're making a video, too. They are? I is that a problem, darling? Oh, no, it's not. Just haven't heard much about my old school since I left, I guess. Well, if you ask me, Crystal Prep has got nothing on CHS. I love it here. Oh, see what I mean? Okay, before we get started with the choreographing of our dance moves, <laughs> there's just one tiny, teeny, weensy little thing I forgot to mention. What's that? Uh, I would need to use our fundraiser money to buy costume materials for the video. Hmm. Huh. How much is the grand prize worth? More than double what we need to fix up Camp Everfree. <laughs> and of course you can use the money for costumes. <sighs> oh, what the hey? Why not? Sweet! <laughs> According to my calculations, if we lend Rarity the funds we've already raised, we stand to gain four times as much money as we have now. Yeah! <laughs> it's so nice. But if we lose the video contest, we'll be completely back to square one and zero dollars. Anyone else think this is an awfully risky endeavor? I mean, um, me neither. All right, girls, who's ready to shoot our winning dance music video? Oh! Yes! <laughs> Looks like I have some fabric shopping to do. Let's take it from the top one more time. Rainbow Dash, don't forget your cue. It's when Fluttershy does her triple pirouette, okay? It's supposed to be a triple pirouette. I know, it's just that... Um, I, I, I don't think I can do one of those. Darling, of course you can, darling. I believe in you! How about you try jazz paws instead? <laughs> Thanks, Spike. But all of these moves are pretty hard. Oh, I know. But if we want to win, we have to bring our A-game! Crystal Prep certainly will. They're excellent dancers, and you know how they love to compete. How about we forget about the other teams and get back to dancing? Great idea, Applejack! Mm, mm, mm. It's really fun! Mm, mm. I haven't stopped this whole time! <laughs> Let's take it from Rainbow's entrance. Sorry, Rarity. Oh, well, I can fix it, but I'll have to run to the fabric store before it closes. Keep practicing while I'm gone! Ah! Oh, thank goodness I budgeted for backup fabric. Ah! Is that a disco-inspired look? And a street ballet tutu! I don't believe it. They stole my Emergency? Everything all right, Sugar Cube? Well, since you asked, the answer is no! <laughs> oh no, what happened? <laughs> Sour Sweet and the Crystal Prep Girls stole our video concept. I saw them filming at the mall. They copied my design ideas and everything. So, of course, they looked absolutely fabulous. But the worst part is that they're all incredible dancers. Oh, major bummer in the summer. Tissue for your issue? Oh. Everyone is counting on me, on the video, to win us the prize money for the camp. Oh, how could I have been such a fool? Of course those crystal preppers stole my concept. I practically served it to them on a platter. Don't be too hard on yourself. It's going to take more than one friendship games for those Crystal Prep girls to learn that winning isn't everything. Eh, maybe this was all for the best. What do you mean? Uh, your concept and costumes are really awesome, but uh, are dancing? Mm, not so much. <laughs> 
we could barely get in a two-step without tripping over each other's boots. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Nonsense. You all look great. <sighs> okay, maybe not great, but, but, uh, but it was getting there. And the point is, we don't have to let them win. That is our video concept. And I am going straight to Crystal Prep to let them know that they have messed with the wrong girls. <clears throat> Who's with me? <clears throat> no, 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 seriously, who is with me? I have no idea how to get to Crystal Prep. I'll go. Maybe I can try to reason with them. We were classmates once. That's the spirit! Come on! Okay, where's the dance studio? There's a dance studio? Didn't you go to this school? Well, I can show you where the library is. Wait, shh! That's their music! Bingo! Hey, girls! So what did you think of our routine? Scared yet? Don't change the subject, Sour Sweet! But you didn't bring up a subject. You either! Okay. You know why we're here. You stole my hour music video idea. Now, change your concept or else. Oh, sorry, <laughs> but we can't. <laughs> <laughs> and why is that? Because we care about winning. Duh. And we will. Because we're just about to submit our video. <laughs> <laughs> Because we are still doing our video the way we planned. Go ahead. But there's just one flaw in your little plan. By the time you submit yours, it'll just look like you copied us. Except a worse version. Oh, this is all my fault. All the money we raised is gone, and now we have no music video. I should never have convinced you all that we could pull this off in so little time. Are you crazy? We're great at doing stuff super fast. I mean, look at Pinkie Pie. She just built that castle made entirely out of chocolate bars while we were talking. What's up? What I want is a new video concept. Eh. So let's create one. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure if we all put our heads together, we'll come up with something even better than before. Okay. I suppose it's worth a try. I think it's working! Yeah, I, I got something. Okay, so we're in home ec class. <laughs> Baking some apple fritters. And then a fresh batch comes out of the oven. <sighs> and everybody's having a great time. Wait. So, basically we are eating pastries at school in our music video. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm just kind of hungry. Anyone have another idea? Oh, oh, I do! So, we're in the middle of the jungle. And we're being chased by henchmen who are shooting poison arrows at us. <laughs> when suddenly, out of nowhere, the shadow of a giant... Wait a second. Isn't this a scene from the latest Daring Do book? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's why it seems so cool. Never mind. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Please, do tell. We'll start out on the moon. And we'll be wearing really sparkly costumes. No, wait. We'll be in space suits. We're surrounded by Gorgonzola cheese. But then, a space doggy walks over and starts to eat the cheese. Mmm, rich with buttery undertones. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> it will never work. Aw, why not? Uh, because the contest is for dance music videos. And not one of your ideas included dancing at all. But they were pretty funny, huh? <laughs> I like 
yours, Rainbow Dash? Thanks, Pinky. <gasps> Are you okay? Okay? No, I am not okay. The contest deadline is tomorrow, and we have just been wasting time! <laughs> nom, 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 nom. No use, Sour Sweet. Why are we even still trying? Because the deadline hasn't passed. We can still come up with an original song to replace the Sapphire Shores one we've been practicing our choreography with. That's highly unlikely. Why did we tell Rarity that we already submitted our video? So that we can still use her concept. Rarity is creative. She'll come up with something else. But if we don't, we have nothing. And imagine what our classmates would say. They'll say it's our fault the spring dance had to be held in the boring old auditorium instead of on a yacht like we promised. Exactly. Whew. They just don't want to disappoint their classmates. But the Rainbooms have a band. They'll surely have a killer original song, and we don't. Yet. Face it, Sour. We're doomed. <clears throat> Excuse me, girls. Rarity, uh, how long have you been over there? Long enough to hear that you have no original song. Like I said, doomed. <laughs> Maybe you're not. Look, I know our teams haven't been getting along too well lately. But I think I have a solution where everybody wins. We're listening. So, what's the big plan you were excited about? <gasps> Aren't the Crystal Prep girls using this video idea now? They are, yes. But so are we! Girls, you can come out now! I know it's hard to believe, but the Crystal Preppers here helped me to realize that competing against one another was getting us nowhere. And Rarity helped show us that winning was the only thing driving us. We didn't even care if we had to steal to accomplish it. But that's not who we are anymore. The Crystal Prep Academy girls have offered to help with dance moves if we'll help them with an original song. Combining our talents is the most logical thing to do. We'll make one epic music video together. So, what do you guys think? Are you in? <sighs> Best music video idea ever! <laughs> we can start by teaching you the words to our song. But this is just about the rain booms. There's nothing about us in the lyrics. Yet. Wanna help me make some changes? Anybody else care to work on some music? <laughs> we'll get to it after I teach you some dance moves. Music first. Dance first. Music first. Dance first. Music first. Dance first. The order is irrelevant. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Magic.
Camp Everfree looks just like new. We're having a spring dance on a yacht. Who's up for a celebratory ant orange smoothie? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have just had the most brilliant idea. Maybe Crystal Prep could use an award-winning band to play at their spring dance. It would be the perfect way to show off your new dance moves. That would be amazing. Of course, then we'd have a new dilemma to deal with. Oh, no. What? Figuring out what we're all going to wear. Oh, I already have some ideas that I'd be willing to share. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> will be able to stop me, and Mirapur will fall. For I am Starward Stallion! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ah, cut! Sorry, but at this point in the story, Stalwart Stallion would be known as Mojo. What? You think he wants Daring Doop fans to call him out for making a mistake like that? Let's go again. And this time say Mojo instead of Stalwart Stallion, okay? And action! for letting us come, Mr. Zoom. We promise we won't get in the way. Again. <laughs> As a fellow Camp Everfree alum, I was more than happy to afford the girls who helped save it the chance to visit the set of our little film. <laughs> little? This is Daring Do we're talking about. This movie is gonna be huge. Ah, uh, there's a problem in wardrobe. They can't find the costume Daring Do is supposed to wear in the nightclub scene. If we're ever able to finish it, it will be. If you'll excuse me. According to our visitor schedules, they won't start shooting the next scene for a while, which means we have time to get my picture taken with Chestnut Magnifico, the actress playing Daring Do, and ask her to sign my petition to bring more bird feeders to Canterlot High. Well, Chestnut Magnifico is an avid supporter of a foundation that helps build homes for animals in need. Oh, okay, but I was thinking that we could... Check out all the sets? I'd sure like to get a closer look at that volcano. Actually, I thought we'd... Find the buffet! And the cupcake fountain! I don't know what a cupcake fountain is, but I'm pretty sure they don't have one. Of course they do! I read it in my 100 Things You Didn't Know About This Movie Studio Insider Tour Guide. Is the number one thing we didn't know that the guy who founded this studio was an eccentric oddball with a sweet tooth? I guess we're splitting up? Yeah! I don't suppose you want to check out the props that A.K. Yearling designed specially for the movie? You read my mind. Maybe we shouldn't bother her when she's in her trailer. Darling, please. Actresses love interacting with their fans. <gasps> oh, Miss Magnifico, <gasps> I don't care if I'm under contract. This is a joke, and I want this thing shut down. Do you hear me? Probably just didn't see us. Hmm. Wonder how long it takes to build something like this. Several weeks, I'd bet. They sure do go all out making it look like the real deal, huh? Though, I don't think the rainforest is known for its Bon Mott peanut butter praline crunch bars. Better pocket that. Wouldn't want it ruining the shot. Toriosa. Uh, you're from Canterlot High, right? Uh-huh. I'm Jennifer Montage. Cantor, the director's niece? What do you think? Awesome! 
A.K. Yearling is very hands-on when it comes to the sets and props for the movie. Have you met her? Just once when she came to check out the relics. I did get her to sign a copy of the latest Daring Do book, though. Me! Still, what do you do here? Mostly I bring my uncle coffee and help get everything ready for shooting. I've been on the set for all the movies he's shot here. Pretty much know every inch of this place like the back of my hand. <laughs> I tried to convince him to cast me as Daring Do, but he really didn't go for that. Hey, have you guys seen the set for Caballero on Secret Lair? Um, they usually lock the door to that set, but I've got keys that open just about every door in this place. <laughs> Come on, I'll show you. <sighs> Three lunch buffets, six different kinds of fondue, two rooms with nothing but candy, and still no cupcake fountain! Oh well, at least we found those peanut butter praline crunch bars. They weren't in my guidebook, but they sure were delicious! <sighs> I'll see. You think they got any more? <gasps> One more month, Chestnut! That's all we need! I'm doing everything I can to keep us on schedule, but with all the setbacks we've had, I don't think we can do it. If you could just agree to stay on for one more month. Unacceptable! But where are my imported peanut butter praline crunch bars? Now would probably be a good time to resume the search for that cupcake fountain. You guys should have seen the relics. They were amazing! Ah. Quiet on set, please! Sorry, maybe I'll just go take one more peek at them. And action! <laughs> what is going on around here? We just filmed on this volcano and it was fine! This could set us back weeks. <laughs> What's gone? The relics! I wanted to check them out again up close, and they weren't there! This can't be happening! What are we gonna do? Couldn't you just get the prop department to make new ones? The missing relics were personally approved by A.K. Yearling! We could have new ones made, but we can't use them until Miss Yearling has given them her official stamp of approval! You'd think it'd be easy to reach someone who's always holed up in her office writing, but Miss Yearling is a very difficult woman to track down. It'll be okay, though, right? Chestnut's contract with us is almost up, and with Mount Behuvius collapsing, and now this, I fear we'll have to stop production altogether. But, but, you have to finish this movie! Think of all the Daring Do fans who will be so disappointed if you don't! Are you sure there's nothing you can do to... I'm so sorry. Please excuse me. Hmm. There was trouble with one of the costumes when we first arrived. A set that was fine yesterday just collapsed. And now the most important props in the movie have been stolen. I don't think these are just coincidences. Me neither. All the things that have gone wrong on set have put production on hold. It seems to me like someone is going to a lot of trouble to make sure this movie doesn't get made. Who would wanna... <gasps> oh dear, you don't think... No, 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 certainly not! When Rarity and I followed Chestnut Magnifico to her trailer, we overheard her saying something about shutting down the movie. Yes, but she said she wanted something shut down. We don't know that she was talking about the movie. Maybe she's just really mad that they're always running out of her imported butter praline crunch bars. Bon Mott butter praline crunch bars? Those are the ones! We, uh, may have tried a few ourselves. <laughs> We found this on the Mount Behuvia set right before it collapsed. It sure seems like all the signs are pointing to Chestnut Magnifico as the one causing all the problems around here. I don't know who's behind this or what's going on, but the first thing we need to do is find those relics. I agree. The relics were here earlier. And if Chestnut is behind this, then they must still be around here somewhere. Chestnut Magnifico is an acclaimed actress. She'd never do something so dramatic. An actress? Dramatic? Never. Well, she might do something like this if she was trying to get out of working on a movie she didn't want to do. Why don't Fluttershy, Pinky, Spike, and I follow Chestnut Magnifico and see if we can find anything out? Let's do it! In 
the meantime, we should look for the relics. Where do we even start? It's not like there's some mysterious thieving cloak figure we can chase after and say, Hey, tell us where you're keeping the relics! You mean like that one? Finding Chestnut? We couldn't find her. But we did find a cupcake mountain! <laughs> then we got lost and somehow ended up here. What have you guys been doing? We spotted a super suspicious cloak figure, but they got away! <sighs> They're here somewhere. And there you are. Where are your costumes? Oh, we gotta hurry. I I'm gonna be so far if you aren't ready. The director wants to shoot in three minutes. Uh, I, I think there's been some kind of mistake. Wait, wait. Who are these girls? They're the Power Ponies! Uh, I'm fired, aren't I? So fired. Hey, there she is! supposed to be. Then where did she go? She must be around here somewhere. Wherever here is. <gasps> Are you kidding? This is the set of Stormy with a side of pudding! Stormy with a side of what now? Oh, it's only my all-time favorite movie! I've tried to get you all to watch it like a gazillion billion times! I've heard they use real pudding. <laughs> Running out of time! We're supposed to be hunting down the missing relics and catching the bad guy, not eating pudding! We're trying. Maybe we should make our way back to the Daring Do set. There might have been some clues we missed. Ah! <laughs> yeah, don't worry! I got this! I saw you come in here. Where are you? doing in here? took all our phones when we got here. Ugh. Help! I'm trapped in here! We have to find Rainbow Dash. I don't see how. She moved so fast she could be anywhere on the lot by now. Why she felt it necessary to wear the geo that gives her super speed to a movie set, I'll never know. I wish I'd brought mine. One touch and I'd be able to see Chestnut's memories and get to the bottom of this whole thing. I know how to find Rainbow Dash. Follow the Follow me! You're a genius, Pinkie Pie! I know! 
Come on, this way. somebody with a key. Wait. Why am I happy to see you? Did you just make that lock unlock itself? Nice. Thinking maybe we should all start wearing our geodes around. Never know when our new magic might come in handy. How did you find me? I gave up banging on the door five minutes ago. Pudding never lies. Hey, is that the costume that went missing when we first got here? Yeah, but I didn't see the person who locked me in, and there's still no sign of the relics. Huh. I say we head back to the scene of the crime. Maybe there's something there that could lead us to the relics. Or we could let the culprit lead us to them. How? I just told you I didn't see who locked me in here. I've got a pretty good idea who our thief is, but we're gonna need Cantor Zoom's help to catch her. You found this in a supply closet? We didn't find the relics, but we don't think the thief has had a chance to take them off the lot yet. We wanted your permission to search the Tricorner's village set from top to bottom. Maybe we'll find a clue that would lead us to where they're hidden. Of course. Chestnut, I, I need you to get into hair and makeup. As soon as we get the relics, we're gonna start shooting again. Hmm. We'll see. Juniper, can you do a smoothie run? I'm sure all this sleuthing is gonna make everyone thirsty. Absolutely! It wasn't chestnut. <gasps> Look! I found the missing relics! Because you're the one who stole them. She... she wouldn't. She would. And she did. What she didn't expect was for Rainbow Dash to come to the Tricorner set before she was able to sneak them off to a safer hiding place. So she was forced to hide them in the first place she could find. But she knew she couldn't leave them there. So the first chance she got, she tried to sneak them away. Unfortunately for her, we spotted her. But Juniper knows every inch of this place like the back of her hand and was able to trap us and lose Rainbow Dash. For a while. But when Rainbow Dash managed to figure out where she'd run off to, she locked her in a closet with a set of keys that gives her access to just about every door in this place which gave her the time she needed to hide the relics here. <laughs> when did you figure out it was her? I started to piece things together when I unlocked the door to get you out of the supply closet. But I knew Juniper would never admit she was the one who had taken the relics. Unless, of course, she was caught in the act of trying to move them again. Which is why I told you to send her on that smoothie run. So she'd think she'd had the opportunity to get the relics off the lot where we'd never find them. But instead of searching the Tricorner set, you all are secretly following me here. Why would you do this? I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry! I just can't stand Chestnut! She's always eating all the peanut butter praline crunch bars, which are the only candy bars I like! That's hardly a reason to go... And I was mad at you for casting her as Daring Do! I mean, I have told you over and over again how badly I wanted to play Daring Do, and you just ignored me! But, Juniper, you're too young! You don't have any experience! I know! But I thought if enough things went wrong, Chestnut would maybe back up in the movie, and then... you would give me a chance! Not only did you jeopardize the production, endanger the safety of the actors and the film crew, but you also lied to me and took advantage of my trust! I know, and I'm sorry. I, I never meant to hurt anyone, and, and I was going to return all the props just as soon as Chestnut quit. I hope you can forgive me. You're my niece, Juniper, so of course I can forgive you. 
but I'm sorry to say you're no longer welcome on this set, and it will be a long time before I consider allowing you back here. Keys! Canter, there you are. <laughs> so sorry I'm not in makeup, but I've just gotten a call from my agent. I no longer have to work on that ridiculous documentary about nests next month. <laughs> I swear, when they approached me, I thought they wanted to do a documentary about my organization for homeless animals. <laughs> Not on various nests around the world. <laughs> Completely misleading. But no matter, that's all behind us. Does this mean... No more scheduling conflict. I can extend my contract and continue filming Daring Do. Hey, are those the missing relics? Yes, and I don't think we'll have to worry about them disappearing again. And it's all thanks to our visitors from Canterlot High. First you saved Camp Everfree, now the Daring Do movie. Y'all are certainly on a roll. <laughs> uh, uh, speaking of roles, don't suppose you've got any extra parts my friends and I could play? You know, <laughs> as a reward for saving the day. I think we could figure something out. <laughs> Sword of Altoriosa. I don't think so, stalwart. Have it your way. Hostium, Pihomore. Odo, Lolo. Give up, daring to. The sword shall be mine. <laughs> Do set now. Ugh, they're everywhere. I bet they'll be at the premiere tonight. I bet I'll be the lucky one ushering them to their seats. Juniper, where are you? We need you back at the popcorn popper stat. What was that? Boss, can't hear you. Losing you! If those girls hadn't shown up, I would have played Daring Do. Tonight would have been about me. I would have been a star! You're right. They are a bit much. change. Something tells me this thing's worth it. Dear Princess Twilight, tonight's the night of the big movie premiere. All my friends are really excited, and I should be too, except I can't seem to keep my mind on anything other than our new powers, and the rogue magic that's loose in this world, and how scary but exhilarating it all is. How does it work? How can we be prepared for it? When will it show up again? Well, you see the problem. With the weight of all equestria on your shoulders, you must have some advice on how to... Oh, no! Shoot! What's 
sense it, Shimmer. Oh, I just ran out of pages in my journal. That's all. Chillax, Sunshim. Um, who's Sunshim? That's Sunset Shimmer's new movie star name. Uh, I just made it up. For sweet apple's sake, we only have bit parts in this flick. We're not movie stars. Yet, Gunning. Yet. There's more bothering you than just journal pages, isn't there, Sunset? Uh. <laughs> Come on, share your troubles. It might help soothe your stressed nerves. Uh, I don't want to take any of the fun out of our big night. I said, do it, Sunship! Okay, okay. It's just that things have been calm around here, magic wise. And that's bad. How, precisely? It's not. It's just that instead of enjoying the fact that things are calm, I'm constantly thinking about things going wrong, even when they aren't. Ooh, like, like what things? I don't know. I shouldn't even be thinking about any of this stuff right now. And neither should any of you. Look, Twilight's writing you back. Hey, everybody! Sunset's getting an Equestria text. What's it say? Princess Twilight wants me to come to Equestria. This mirror is the only one around here who gets me. Ahem. Popcorn spill at the condiment counter. Does this look like someone who cleans popcorn spills? No. It looks like someone about to fire somebody. <sighs> this is the worst. Hey, I know what will perk me up. A little mirror me time. <laughs> That's more like it. I wish this popcorn would just clean itself up so I could just stare at you all day. Wow. Done? Already? I'm shocked. You and me both. <laughs> Twilight? Is that you? Nope. Starlight glimmer. <laughs> uh, oops. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Phew. Whoa. That feels a little weird after all this time. Starlight glimmer. You're Twilight's student, right? Uh-huh. She wanted me to give you this. She wanted to give it to you herself, but then she and her friends were called away to solve a friendship problem. That happens a lot around here. That must be stressful, huh? Never knowing when you might be called on to save the day. Dropping everything at a moment's notice. How does she do it? Sorry, she just told me to give you the journal. <laughs> so are you sure she won't be back anytime soon? Pretty sure. Okay, I guess I'll be going now. What's it like back there? It's pretty different. And not so different at the same time. It's kind of hard to explain. Huh. Guess you kind of have to go there to really get it, huh? I, uh, don't suppose. You really think Princess Twilight would be okay with that? I don't know for sure that she wouldn't be okay with it. That's not a particularly compelling argument. She wants me to learn as much as I can about friendship, and I'm not learning a whole lot just hanging out here in her castle. Well, 
I haven't ever seen you in that world, so chances are you aren't gonna run into yourself. Is something you don't hear every day? So just lay low. Don't draw too much attention to you. <laughs> you'll barely even notice I'm there. Introducing you to my friends could be a nice distraction. But you'll also totally notice I'm there, and it will keep your mind off of other things that might be bothering you. So, what do you think? Can I go back with you? Hmm. Uh, what happened? It's all pretty weird at first, but try to roll with it. Hi. Are these hands? And what happened to the rest of my hoof? feet? Those are feet. Remember the whole thing where I said you need to lay low? Now would be a good time to play it cool. Oh, right. Play cool. <laughs> you did say I'd make a good distraction. Mirror, I command thee, pick up it this poppage of corn. Ugh, why won't this thing work anymore? Like, we were gonna eat some of that. Mirror, make these annoying people go away. Well, that kinda worked. Juniper Monta! <gasps> what in the blazes are you doing here? Were you invited to the Dare and Do premiere? Oh, that's exciting! No, crazy! No, concerning! No, just no! No offense. I wasn't invited to the premiere. My uncle can't resume Philpad for frying me, so he pulled some strings and got me this job. You work here? As little as possible. You know, if you hadn't tried to sabotage the movie, you could be celebrating with us. <gasps> this should be my night! I would have found a way to be in the film if you all have stayed out of it. I would have been daring too. Everyone would have loved me. See? They yeah. what? Can't you see what's right under your noses? Ugh! I wish you'd all just go away and leave me alone. Getting the hang of this. <laughs> Hi, me. Six cell phones, all straight to voicemail. I'm sure they're around. What's the worst that could have happened? Magic is on the loose here now, and it does not work the same way it does back in Equestria. Any number of terrible things could have happened. <sighs> and lately, I spend 80% of my time thinking about them. My friends are probably fine. I'm overreacting. Maybe not. Can't tell anymore. This is the problem you wanted to talk to Princess Twilight about, right? Because you can still talk it over with me if you want. Or you could just journal with Princess Twilight about it. Whatever works. It's just... I know my friends and I have been given special powers for a reason. And I want to be ready for whatever is going to be thrown at us. I guess knowing that is making me feel like I can never really relax and let my guard down. So I end up obsessing about it and can't get out of my own head. Hmm, that is a toughie. Guess my advice would be to just trust things will work themselves out in the end. If you spend too much time worrying about the bad things that might happen, you'll miss out on all the good things that are happening. <laughs> like how Princess Twilight's student is teaching me a lesson right now? Yeah, like that. Come on, let's go take a look around the theater. I'm sure they're fine. Uh, any clue yet where we are or what just happened? Anyone? Pinkie Pies on the case! Nope, no wall over here. Come out, come out, walls! Wherever you are! I don't get this place. There's no walls in here anywhere! Somehow, someway, that 
dang juniper sucked us all inside of that mirror of hers. Or into some kind of limbo behind it. I think I might be freaking out a little bit. You call that a freak out? It's sort of a deep down inside freak out. From the outside, there's popcorn in here! Mmm, sticky. How could this happen on the evening of my very first movie premiere? Of all the nights. Curse you, cruel fate! Not our number one problem right now, Rarity. True. But perhaps we can agree it's in the top five. Is there really no way out of here? Oh my heavens, what's that? Chocolate covered almonds? She's trouble. Huh. That's Fluttershy's barrette. Wait here for me. Sunset Shimmer! I was wondering if you'd show up. I'm uh, looking for my friends. I don't suppose you've seen them? <laughs> Where are they? I'll never tell. You don't have to. You're lucky I offered to get you this job after the stunt you pulled on my set. I just wanted to be daring do. I just wanted people to like me. Everyone would love me if it weren't for you girls. This is all your fault. Ugh! I wish you'd all just go away and leave me alone. <gasps> what? I know you want people to like you, but trust me, the magic in that mirror is only going to make things worse for you. You're just saying that because you want the mirror for yourself. What I want is my friends back. Please, Juniper, you wish them into that mirror. Maybe there's a way you can wish them out. Or maybe... I wish you'd join me. Wait, if we're all together, then nobody out there knows where we are. Um, girls... Starlight Glimmer does. Um, girls... You mean Twilight Student back in Equestria? How would she know where... Oh! You didn't. She isn't. I kind of told her she could come back here with me. Girls... You really think Princess Twilight would be okay with that? I don't know for sure that she wouldn't be okay with it. Um, so sorry to interrupt Whoa. you. Check out our geos! Huh. That's what I was trying to say. Something's changed. This wasn't happening before. Maybe it's because all seven of us are together now. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> will recognize I'm a real star. Okay, first things first, I need to get that mirror away from her. Mommy to take our picture together? Breaking. 
Glimmer. I hope you know what you're doing. Give that back! No, this mirror is nothing but trouble. You have to realize that. What I realize is that you are just like those other girls. I wish you'd join them. <sighs> Looks like you can't make that wish unless you're the one holding the mirror. I wish Sunset Shimmer and her friends would come back! <laughs> Looks like you can't use it either! What you're after, or are you looking for something else? Like what? Like a friend? Who would want to be my friend? I would. Why? Because I understand you, Juniper. You think getting revenge is going to make you feel better, but it's not. Please, don't make a mistake that you'll end up regretting for the rest of your life. I've already made too many mistakes. What I've done is... Unforgivable! No, Juniper. I know they'll forgive you. But first, you have to set them free. I... I wish I could make up for my mistakes. for laying low. I think even Princess Twilight would understand. I'm so sorry. It's okay. We've all been there. Really? Manipulated an entire town into giving up their talents so they wouldn't think they were special? Overpowered by a magic I couldn't control and created a rift between two worlds, almost destroying both of them in the process. Turned an entire school into my own personal zombie army in hopes of conquering a distant pony world. Wow, we are a really forgiving group. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sad to leave. I haven't really had the chance to get to know all of you. Maybe you don't have to leave yet. Dear Sunset, some lessons are better learned in action, and you girls are great teachers. Starlight should stay for a few more days. Enjoy the premiere! <laughs> huh. Think you can focus on the positive? Whatever happens is gonna happen. I've just gotta live in the moment, right? Right. Ha, 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 ha.